If you're new here, welcome. My name is Katie, and I talk about my own print-on-demand journey so that I can share with you all the great tips and tricks that I've been learning along the way so I can help with your print-on-demand journey. Now, in today's video, I am going to be talking about a very simple way that you can upload 90% faster to both Redbubble and TeePublic that you may or may not already know about. We'll see. All right, let's dive right on into the video, shall we? All right, so basically on Redbubble, what you're going to do is go into your account and then hit on the button that says Manage Portfolio. And once you're there, you go ahead and click on the little settings icon, then hit Copy Settings. Now this will allow you to copy all the settings you've had for a previous design and then upload a new design so that you don't have to spend a ton of time adjusting where the design fits on each product and you don't even have to come up with a ton of new tags or description if the item that you're uploading is similar to one you've previously uploaded. And it's the exact same thing with Tee Public. You go first to your storefront and then there are three options beneath each design. You're going to click on the one in the middle, which is copy. And that will do the same thing as with Redbubble. It will copy your settings, and then you just have to upload the new design. And presto, you just have to make maybe minor adjustments to each different product, but it saves you so much time. I use this method as often as I possibly can because it makes uploading so much easier. Especially with the tags, if they're like a similar design, then you don't even have to bother coming up with a ton of new ones because you can reuse a lot of the ones that you've typed out previously for a similar design. Now we'll go ahead and jump on into my screen so I can show you how to do it. Alrighty, here we are in my Redbubble shop. So in order to use this method, the copy settings method, I just go ahead and click on this little settings icon, then I hit copy settings, which is third from the top. Then of course you have to wait for it to load. Alrighty, now all I have to do is replace the image with something else. And then while it is uploading, I can go ahead and change any of these tags to make them relevant to the new design that I'm uploading. And then once that is done, it will have the exact same placement and settings as my previous design. Alrighty, here we are in my T Public account. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on the copy. And you can, you it doesn't really matter if you want to keep these or not, I use the just undo the primary tag and then I'll manually tweak the rest of it. One thing to note when you are using the copy settings idea, um, it is It is a good idea to make sure that the design that you are uploading is the same dimensions as your previous design, because if they are not, then you might have some troubles with how the new design is placed, since it is a different dimension than the previous one. But other than that, and there you have it, excluding how long it actually takes me to upload a design on my somewhat spotty Wi-Fi, this method definitely saves a lot of time with placement and tags and description and everything else. So I would definitely recommend this as a great time saver. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, please make sure to like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you in the next one.